<laughs> Shit. Didn't they ever let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay. We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Come on, get out of here! I poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. 
that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not I told you, happen. shut up, I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's, tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Love fest. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Important. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. All throws a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, no, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, then another amigo. How do we find you? <clears throat> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get there. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the proposition. Drinks. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking am? for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Gets another drink, bruv. But he's a comedian. 
listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals at kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Whatever, it's not like I care or anything. Ah! Oh, God. oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. What's happening? You remember Giorgio? You remember he's innocent? Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt, and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here, now. I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this 
This is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Yeah, I heard this porn was unsatisfying. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, it's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Oh, sweet Jesus. I've wasted my life and my looks. Stand still and I'll make it quick. Is this a thing to do in college? Tommy. Come, and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, 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 no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. The rain. She's very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just oh, give me the damn darling. chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig that is propriétaire of a gouvernement français. Hand it over! You American idiot! They followed you here! Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. My money! I live! Take heads. And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy Lance? Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Don't be hard! I'll chop your head off! Ugh. Who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. <sighs> you remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. <sighs> Never trust a goddamn horse! <sighs> you do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, 
You work for me now. I work Shut for Shut up. Me. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This Oh, shit! Loser! <clears throat> Too slow, Grandad. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Like fool! This fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy... I want that boat! Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Eject! Plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Ah! Ah! Bro, you! It is my favorite El Budo movie. It died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass and you're probably gonna want to kiss me, wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! Good shooting, my friend! You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic! Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Help. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. 
Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Yes, was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course, although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the bugle-meister? He's got your boy lugs. Word is, you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! Oh, I oh, oh, plain English! Keep your party on! They call him across town the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! Careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <laughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns! <laughs> Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. 
a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. We gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Your protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. Easy, you guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all the be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. Then somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now yeah, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here! Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are going to be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We got to go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We got to get uniforms, and we're going to need a squad car. Well, thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we got to do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Tie him up and gag him. Ooh, fits perfectly. Get tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. We got to get the hell out of here! See, Ming? Hey! Easy, papi. This man's for me. You! You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti, let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. You got big cojones, amigo. Papi, hay problema, Tom. Papi, un gran problema. Humberto, my son, what happened? The Haitians. I hate these Haitians. 
They messed with me for the last time. This, this is, we'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Haitians down. When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town. Amigo, good to see you can make it. This stinking nest of Haitians, we're gonna kill them all. Dang! Let's take cover. We need reinforcements from the cafe. Take out that cowardly sniper! Huge cojones! Yeah, Alberto! Go to cafe, Papa. senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce! You're two-faced, Tommy! You're either two-faced or you're a wimp, baby boy! The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me! Easy, easy! What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Humberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Humberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's gonna cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are a real man. Businessman, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it. And I look after you, like my brother, like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Hey, Rico, nice boat. You ready? See, Tommy, now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good, full of holes, okay? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea turn, and maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The Cubans nasty proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my lovely Haitian boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poulet. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, sorry. I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... The Cubans have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. My nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea.
Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys gone war with them Cuban boys, but no guns. But the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets, you take this rifle and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you, no one hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. Hey, lady! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill me a Haitian. And then, and then I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Ah, 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 ah. Gross. Loser. Prick. Hey, baby! Oh I wouldn't God. touch I you with a ten foot pole. Humberto like Romina, he likes the ladies, so not funny. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. We're gonna take out the Haitians. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> Whatever you say, Humberto. Tommy, you go and get us a little Haitian car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to the Haitians. Then, you go around to the Haitians' processing plant. And you use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto. What about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? Hola, amigos. Oye, the solvent is around the back, amigo. Bueno, Haitian putas, muerte. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Salud, my compadres. Tommy, glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jez, you remember. Lovefest. Don't be Did playing them games with me, Did mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. Good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have no ass, totally your father. Not. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, no, beauty, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, gang! Love juice? Aye, two parts boomshine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right? Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay, but just as a favor, I expect return. Big boy. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat, knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to Shut up, you that. fool. Just give eh? Jez bomb yes. sheet to love rocket thing, can? <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, the love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants love fish dead. Dead, Tommy. Love fish gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fish. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. I'll see love fish burn. Love fish ruined my life.
Ah, <laughs> got you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non-ugly business. Which is why I'm gonna ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. Hey there, Mitch. Well, if it ain't badass for Seti. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. A local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on! Come on, come on. Dumb it! Dumb it! Dumb it, man! That say goes back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man! And now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Shut Michelle, man, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. At last, man. Time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? It's just a hundred yards to the road, man. Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look! What's this? Hey, Tommy! Stick this tape on! No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode, along with your big airy asses. It's a good whiff, I'll say you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner. Been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <clears throat> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tommy! How you doing? This bit you long. I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Don't woozy. you worry about the Phil, smell, oof. Tommy. 
You just watch this. Shitty, cheap, bad is your son. There's some more on the bench. Ta da! Oh, damn! <laughs> What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! What? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, son. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? <laughs> <laughs>